Good evening. The homeless got a little extra help today from people walking the streets of downtown Lansing. Members of the community tell our Joy Wang they're trying to give the homeless hope. They gather in Rudder Park with food, water, and supplies. This is where I was homeless, and it has a lot of meaning to me. Since last year, the Homeless Angels have been hosting street walks, meeting and helping those in need throughout the state. It also gives them hope, but it also gives an opportunity to build relationships with us so that we can learn their stories and we can figure out exactly what we can do to help and change things. On this walk, Bob Skinner got a blanket, a new tent, and some food. I wasn't expecting this. It's fantastic. But he also walked away with something more. It's kind of nice because normally I feel like a reject, and here I feel welcomed, and that's good. And that's exactly what the homeless angels hope everyone will feel. If we start listening and we start building that friendship in the community again, um, things will get better. For some, things already have gotten better. I just got a job through Homeless Angels, through one of their friends. Uh, I'm going to be a maintenance man at a trailer park. Garcia now joins the Angels, volunteering his time to help people just like him. Everybody is a person, and we all live in this small city together. I think we should reach out to each other and help each other out. The Angels plan to complete these walks once a month. Together, we can end homelessness. And the more we can get out there and spread awareness about homelessness, the less there's going to be. In Lansing, Joy Wang, Fox 47 News. The Homeless Angels are also offering free laundry for those in need. That's happening next Saturday from 10 to 2 at Waverly Laundry. There will also be free haircuts.